Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. I hope you're doing great. Let's find out today, guys, what does the person in your mind think about you right now? This is about their thoughts right now, the moment that you click on this video, right? So this video is timeless as usual. Choose your pile 1 to 3, which I will insert right now, and I'm going for pile number 1. Hello Pile 1, welcome guys. If you chose this sticker with a stamp over here, this reading is for you. If you guys want a personal reading from me, you can find the information in the description box and the comment section. I do offer a same day reading for $20 and I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings for you guys. So let's find out what's going on in your person and uh, all their feelings at this moment right now when you click on this video. So you chose here the clover. So guys, before I start, I want to apologize for the noise in the background. I really cannot help it because I have scheduled my reading for now. And uh, there is some work done outside in the street. So please bear with me. I hope it's not too distracting. So let's see. So you chose here the clover. And of course the clover is a sign of uh, luck. It's also a sign of happiness. And I also read about clover is a sign of uh, love, of abundance, and also about uh, abandonment. So what I feel here, guys, for you, it's like there is an urgency coming from this person to seal the deal, I hear, before you fly away, I hear. So they have some insecurities, guys, that, um, you know, they might miss their chance here. On the one hand, they feel very abundant, very happy to have met you, they feel very lucky. On the other hand, they feel like uh, they should do something very soon, not to miss this chance with you. So that's what I'm getting here. That's what they are thinking right now. So let's see more and shuffle the tarot cards now. Let's find out uh, more information. Alright, pile one, I get here for some of you guys. This uh, might be a reading for a um, past person, but this is about 5%. It could be not for all of you guys, so take whatever resonates. Okay, so first of all, what is this person thinking? Uh, confirmation here that this person is really thinking with the Four of Swords, you see. They might even dream about you at night, or they are just thinking a lot about you while they are resting or maybe when they take a break from their work and also they are fantasizing a lot here with the seven of cups they are thinking a lot about your past moments together whatever your past interaction was uh, it was very memorable to them and they are really thinking about all the details here you see whatever happened how it happened how it started and all of these things it might also mean here guys that this person is thinking about your relationship uh, the steps of your relationship, how things went from the beginning till now, how they met you, they might be reminiscent about you. In the case that this is a crush of yours or a person that you have uh, some interest in and they don't know you, this person uh, has started to fall for you. So this person over here is really daydreaming about you a lot with the Four of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And it's like this person is trying to bring to their memory here all the details about your face, I hear, how you look. I just heard uh, that you might have a beauty mark on your face and they remember it. They also remember your eyes. So I feel this person uh, is very sweet right now. They have these sweet feelings towards you. And they feel weak. They really feel weak, guys, especially when they saw you the last time. Uh, I hear that they were weak in the knees for you. Maybe they didn't see you for a long time. Or maybe your beauty surprised them somehow. Maybe you are wearing something very sexy or maybe something caught their attention the last time. And they remember it and uh, it's like um, their, their mouth is watering, you know. I get this message right now. 
asks, so here we have the star, definitely they are thinking about you in that way, how dreamy you are, also how healing you are, your energies are very healing, how much you stand out from the crowd as well, so I see here number 17 might be significant, for some of you maybe you guys have an age gap, age difference, just for some, others of you it might be 1 plus 7 is number 8, number 8 is no number of manifestation, so definitely this person is manifesting you, either consciously or unconsciously, they have a lot of dreams about you as well, and they remember guys, they're thinking about the last time, how you looked, I get all over this message again, that you are so dreamy, and your face was very beautiful, maybe you're wearing your makeup in a certain way, they liked it and also they remember how you walked so now we are talking about uh, what they're thinking about you right now right and i don't know why but the cards tell me about your last interaction here a lot i don't know why maybe it was very memorable to them very striking and that's why they remember all the details now it's like um, they are bringing back these memories all over again so we also have here Ace of Cups and King of Wands. So this person is thinking how passionate they are for you, about you, and also how fiery you are, because they feel like you guys are very passionate, very fiery. You guys might be a fire sign here, you might be a Leo or a Aries or Sagittarius. And because you have the Emperor, you guys might be an Aries, you guys might be Libra with the Justice. You guys might be Aquarius with the Star. Or Gemini with the Lovers. These are just indications for you. Just a confirmation, right? So yeah, this person feels like you're very passionate. You're very goal-oriented. Uh, you know, action-driven. You take action. You have a great body, they feel. They're thinking a lot about your body. I get this message. Also, guys, they're thinking about uh, the energy exchange that you have. You have a lot of passionate energy between you. And I feel this person is feeling it intuitively because we have this uh, purple color over here. And the orange and the red in the back. They are also thinking about how confident you are. Because I feel, guys, you are very confident here. Uh, you stay in your lane and you only take the good stuff. You don't take uh, BS. So it's like uh, you have this uh, main character energy, you have this boss energy about you. Although I feel that you guys, if you are feminine here, you are very gentle and feminine. So you do the things that you do in a graceful way, you know what I mean? Despite that you take action. Yes, you go for your goals, but you're not uh, masculine, so you don't do it forcefully. You are doing it, guys, in a graceful way, I feel. Also here we have Ace of Cups, so this person is thinking about um, how you make them feel in your presence and I just noticed there is letter M over here. Also guys, not forget, I will uh, draw some uh, initials for you at the end to have some confirmations for you if you like, to see if you have these letters in your name or in their name as a confirmation, okay? So this person guys has feelings for you, new feelings I feel. And um, with this uh, octopus over here, they're very drawn to you. And they find you resistible, they are drawn to you like crazy. This is uh, something unexplainable to them. Why they are so drawn to you? Because as I told you before, you might guys have some um, age difference here. And normally this person maybe doesn't go for people uh, in your age group, for example, if you're older or even younger, I don't know, it depends on your situation here. But this person is thinking about that, the age gap, and the thing is that uh, maybe it's the first time that they have this experience and they cannot explain it, so this person I feel is trying to let go, is trying to focus on other things in their life, but they can't, they go back to you, they go back to these thoughts they have for you, right? And to them you are resistible, you are... Um, very tempting here with this octopus tempting physically because we have king of wands and the star over here 
and also you are tempting on your uh, energetic level here so it's like uh, they feel this connection very strongly to you and they cannot explain why you see for some of you I get you might be twin flames these ones uh, or you guys might be soulmates or maybe you have a karmic connection here even for some maybe you have a soul tie in this lifetime and uh, that's why they cannot explain this connection with you so they are thinking about these things all over again you know thinking about you fantasizing about you but I feel that this person guys uh, here with the lovers is very, very drawn to you yes they feel very drawn to you and uh, despite your differences because I really feel you have some differences if it's not age it might be something else it might be differences in, in social status I get for some of you guys but this person is very tempted by you see there is an apple and a snake in the background so yeah they are thinking uh, how much you can match and if this connection could work eventually because of your differences here we have here guys knight of wands and the knight of wands is all about passion passion driven actions exploring so this person cannot help but think about in that way they want to explore you and they get the message they want to explore you in bed they're very curious about that so they are thinking uh, how how can they get to you here these are the thoughts and they have these uh, primal instincts here you see with this lizard which means that um, they cannot help but being drawn to you sexually a lot I get so this person guys is trying to be controlled nevertheless here with the emperor and also they are thinking about that they are thinking guys if you are single or not because underneath we have nine of pentacles and this is about a single person here, singleness, you know, being a bachelor, bachelorette. They are wondering about that, if you are or not. I also heard they, they also wonder what you are doing in your free time. Because I feel this person doesn't know you that well. And with the emperor, this person is thinking that... Um, maybe they should take action because right now they are very controlled here with the emperor and also they are thinking how you perceive them if you like them to be like that how they are or maybe you guys don't like it and you want them to take more action so they are thinking how to go about it if they should take action or not because here we have knight of swords and the knight of swords is someone that is bold determined uh, someone that takes action that goes for it someone that rushes in no matter the cost here someone very risky and uh, on the other end we have the emperor which is someone that is very controlled they stay in their lane and they don't take action impulsively they have to be very very sure about something so they are thinking, as I told in the beginning here, that uh, they don't want to lose this chance, you see. Because with the abandonment issues that uh, they have over here, they might be a bit scared that uh, you guys uh, might be out of their league here with the Nine of Pentacles. And that's why they are hesitating here, you know, to be bolder. And uh, all of that makes them uh, really think over here, and overthink with the Four of uh, Swords, you see. Also, they are thinking with the Page of Pentacles, if they should uh, do something again, if they should take action, if they should try to communicate with you, if they should make a move. Page of Pentacles is also a sign of uh, messaging, calling someone, contacting someone. So if this person knows you already, if this is an ex for example, they are really thinking to be bolder here, take this risk and contact you. Because I hear that they miss you. For the people, the 5% that this is your ex here, right? Because now this person is the emperor and uh, they are thinking about their bachelor life here. If you got separated and they are thinking about pros and cons of being single or being in a relationship so that's very interesting here and uh, with the star this person if this is your ex they have hope 
for renewal of this connection, for rejuvenation, because guys, you also have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups to me sometimes speaking about reconciliation here. Combination with the Star card. But in any case, this person with the Three of Cups is also thinking uh, how it would be to date you, to go out with you, to have fun with you, to talk to you, to get to know you, what kind of person you are. Here is the Seven of Cups. What do you like? What hobbies you, you have? Uh, they want to know everything about you, how you are as a person, the other sides that you have, because now they don't know you that well. And uh, with the Nine of Wands, they are a bit uh, guarded right now to do something, so they are just um, fantasizing here and thinking a lot. So here with the Three of Wands, Three of Wands is a card of progress, it's a card of uh, taking action to go forward, taking the next step. It's also a card of leaving behind and going, uh, you know, somewhere else. So I feel this person, guys, has some fears of missing out. They're thinking that you might decide to, you know, just uh, pick someone else. And they're afraid here with the justice. That if they come forward, their actions will not be reciprocated or they will not be received well by you. If this is a past person. They have some regrets with the Justice card, so they feel like now, uh, if they come back, they have to pay the consequences, right? So they are a bit puzzled over here. Alright, very interesting. I will draw some uh, Oracle cards now, guys, to find a little bit more. Okay, guys, so you got here the Water Bird with uh, speak your truth so i get this person wants to communicate as i told with the page of pentacles they want to speak with you they want to message you they want to call you they want to reach out in case this is an, uh, a crush of yours they want to make a move here they want to have progress they're thinking if they should take this leap of faith here if they should take this risk or not we have water monkey conquer your fear so I get here something interesting, it's like uh, you are this person, right? And they are this person in the background. In case this is your ex, guys, they feel like you have evolved since you broke up. Maybe you had a glow up, uh, maybe you have elevated in other ways. But they feel, guys, that you are um, steps ahead, you know? And they have these insecurities still, they haven't worked so are, you know, BS, sorry to say, <laughs> but uh, that's what they are thinking. They haven't worked through their uh, negativity here. And they are just sitting over there with their fears, right? And if this is your crush, they feel very small in comparison to you. They feel like you are this uh, majestic being, larger than life, this attractive person that you can have whoever you want. And they are very skeptical here. Uh, if they should make a move or not, because as I told you before, this person feels like uh, the odds are not with them. That's why, uh, you know, they're hesitating a lot. We have here fire horse. So the horse is all about vitality, about action, about strength. And you have also effortless vitality. First of all, this person admires your body a lot. Maybe you train at the gym. Maybe, guys, you exercise, I guess, for some of you. They like your hair also. They love your body. They really love it here. They're thinking about it a lot. And uh, they're thinking about right now that we are speaking. How vital you are, how sexy you are, how confident, you know. Yeah, you're something else to this person. I don't know. They are falling in love here, if this is your crush. And also they feel uh, that you are effortless in your appearance, perhaps. It's like you don't try, but uh, you stand out, nevertheless. Maybe you have a minimalistic uh, makeup look about you. Maybe you don't have to do a lot to be attractive and to draw attention. And this has caught their eye over here. 
very interesting. Also, the horse is about action, as I said, so they are thinking a lot about taking action, you see. We have this amazingly looking rabbit over here, this cute rabbit. So it says, Fire Rabbit, welcome the muse. Yes, definitely this person is very inspired by you. It's like you are their muse. They are romantically inspired, they are uh, sexually inspired a lot. You see these fireworks around. It's like you are the star, this woman here, and they cannot but look at you, think about you and fantasize about you. How beautiful you are, how cute you are right here, how feminine you are as well. Yes, they're very, very inspired here by you guys. And they're thinking about um, how attractive you are. They're very, very attracted to you. We have Fire Ox, Beacon of Light. Again, it's about you guys uh, being, uh, you know, center of attention here. Having the spotlight, being in the spotlight, sorry. Having no lights on you, all eyes on you, and so on. And they feel, guys, that uh, you are a very strong person as well, very strong character over here. It's like uh, they think that they should maneuver in a different way with you, because you're not going to be swayed that easily, like other people in their life. Okay, very interesting. I will draw now the initials for you guys. Let's see. So we have letter S, we have O, E, N, S again, H, P, J, V, J again, D, oops, L, C, B, L again, X, X, Y, G, sorry, Z and D. So we have two Ds to X's, so maybe it's talking about your X for some of you guys. We have two L's, take whatever resonates here. You might have these letters uh, as initial in your name or um, this could be a letter in your name or their name. We have two S. All right guys, so that's all I had for you today. If you like this message, if you like this reading, you can give me a like. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi guys, hi pile number two. If you chose the cup sticker, this reading is for you. If you guys want a personal reading from me, I do offer a same day reading for $20. And I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings. If you guys are interested, you can find all the information in the description box and also in the comment section. So you chose here this uh, cup and your card is the moon. So here guys with the cup, I feel like this person might be talking about you with someone else. Uh, they are chit-chatting, I get this message. Maybe it's uh, with one of their friends, they are talking about you. Maybe it's not right now at the moment, but in general. They are talking about you with someone in their friend circle right here. And you also chose here the moon. So the moon, guys, is all about love in the Lenormand. It's about love, it's about uh, passion also. So this person, guys, uh, has feelings for you, I feel. And also they find you very attractive here. There is a lot of um, energy exchange also. And uh, this is a confirmation that this person is thinking about you, not only now, but all the time. They are thinking and rethinking with this magnifying glass over here, especially during uh, night time, I feel. So they are thinking about their attraction towards you. Number 32 might be significant for some of you, you might be around 32 or so. The letter C and letter M might be significant for some of you guys. I will also pull some initials for you at the end and we'll find out. Maybe you guys get a confirmation there about uh, your name or their name. Maybe get some initials that resonate with you. So I feel this person is thinking a lot about your face 
about your eyes as well. Maybe you have nostalgic eyes. Or maybe this person feels a bit of sadness right now or they are a bit nostalgic about you. For others of you, I feel that there is some confusion, disconnection, mystery as well. Perhaps they don't know you that well. If this is a new person. So it's like this person, guys, cannot escape their thoughts about you. Okay, let's see now what the tarot cards will show and what is this person thinking about you right now at this moment that you clicked on this video. Let's see. Okay, pile number two. So I get some restlessness coming from this person that you're asking about. I, this person, guys, uh, has some issues that they're working through because this is a past person. Again, I feel that it resonates for uh, some of you, not for all of you. So there is here a percentage of you that are asking about an ex here. And they are restless right now. Because uh, there are some stuff left unsaid between you and they also have a lot of stuff that they're working through uh, about their self-limiting beliefs, about uh, their own limitations here with the death card. They might be undergoing guys uh, during this uh, dark night of the soul right now. They are trying to let go, let go of a lot of stuff. So let's see here, what is this person thinking right now in regards to you always. So in any case, if this is a crush or an ex, it doesn't matter. Here with the Wheel of Fortune, this person guys feels like uh, you are meant to be. Or it was very interesting how you met. You met in an unexpected way. It's like the Divine brought you together. Maybe this person doesn't word it like that, but they feel like um, meeting you is very significant in their life. It's like you change everything here with this will. You brought color in their life. You brought them lessons for your past people over here. And now they realize your worth here, if this is a past person. If it's a new person, they still don't know what role you're going to play in their life. But they really feel here intuitively, subconsciously, that uh, you are someone very special. So this person is thinking about your meeting, how you met, over here with the Wheel of Fortune. How unexpected it was. And also guys, they feel uh, that they are very tempted by you here with the snake. And they are thinking about that a lot. So the Wheel of Fortune is clarified with the devil. So this person, guys, is very attracted to you, physically. They are very drawn to you, unexplainably. They cannot explain why, right? So this person, I feel, is uh, obsessed with you. They are thinking about you constantly, obsessively. They are thinking about your style, how you dress. Uh, maybe the color blue is significant. Maybe they like when you wear the color blue. Maybe they have noticed because uh, we have a lot of blue. We have here blue and here in this first card with the moon. So they are thinking that they like you when you wear blue or when they saw you wearing this color, right? They are thinking that they are very attracted to you physically. They are thinking that uh, they cannot uh, really get rid of these uh, thoughts about you. And they are thinking why did you meet? I don't know why, but I hear this uh, all the time. Why did they meet you or why did they meet you now? Something about that. Something about time comes here with these moons. This moon cycle. So here we have a cycle and here we also have a cycle, you see. So this person is trying to get out of these mental loops that they have about you but they can't so they fall into that again 
into these thinking patterns about you. So they are thinking about you guys, that uh, you are very special to them, your meeting was very special. They are thinking that uh, you are a very bright person with the sun. They are thinking about your body here, you see. Even if you might have some extra pounds, it doesn't matter to them. Uh, some of you might, some of you might not. Some of you might be leaner, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it could be very different because a lot of people are watching. But this person feels, guys, that uh, your body is very appealing to them. They're very drawn to that, to the devil over here. Yes, so they are thinking about your physicality. They are thinking about um, how they feel in your presence. They feel very excited, very aroused as well. Again, you see this. There is a feather here into that flower and I feel guys that this person is thinking how special you are, how much you stand out from the crowd, that you are very graceful here. And underneath the sun we have the hermit. In case that this is an ex of yours, they are thinking how much happier they were with you, with the sun. And now here with the hermit, this is uh, them being single. Now they are a bit um, afraid I hear, they are overwhelmed by their life, I don't know why but they hear that. Overwhelmed by their emotions, because yes they do have emotions here with the moon, as I said before. We also have here two of wands, and the two of wands is about the choice, about making a decision. And you see, there is this key over here, and this uh, locket. So this person is thinking right now if they should go that route with you, if they should unlock this road over here, if they should, uh, you know, take action because underneath guys we have the magician and the magician is all about uh, the willpower to take action, about going for it, about manifesting your desires. So this person is thinking guys if, uh, you know, they have the willpower to take action here. They are thinking, do they have everything? Do they have uh, everything that you need? Do they have what it takes, guys, to make you happy? Do they even have swag? Do they even have self-confidence? Do they even have the physical appearance or the financial ability to be with you? Because they are also thinking about that, if they can give you what you want. They also think of you guys as a very powerful person. Maybe you're a boss lady, I don't know about that. Some of you could be. And they admire you. You might wear, you know, professional clothes like blazer and stuff like that. With heels. And they really like it about you. They find it very sexy. And also here with the magician. They think, guys, that you're magical. You're out of this world. And that's what they are thinking about you right now. Yes, a lot of thought process indeed. We have the devil card and the judgment. So it's like this person cannot really escape. They cannot escape this test from the divine I hear. And this I feel uh, strongly guys that uh, it is a test from the divine. It could be that this person is a karmic of yours. It could be guys that uh, you are meant to learn a lesson in this lifetime about relationships through this person. And this person now is changing a lot. Also with the sun, maybe this person thinks that you are changing also. You're having a glow up. You are becoming your best version here, you see. Page of Wands is someone that's very excited about taking a chance. So again, they're thinking, should I take a chance with you or not? And here we have Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is, um, you know, family legacy financial stability, security, having everything that you need and want in a relationship, in a partnership. And underneath we have Seven of Wands and the Seven of Wands is a card of uh, being guarded and defensive. So I feel this person, guys, has some uh, issues here. Ten of Pentacles is also about family, so perhaps in some cases, for some of you, this person could be guarded towards relationships right now because maybe they have broken up recently with someone else and they are still uh, processing their pain here 
you know, they are healing. And maybe that's why you might perceive them as a bit cold, uninterested, for, just for some of you guys. In other cases, this person might be thinking about um, finances. But they are not enough for you in that aspect. So they think that you would need much more than they can offer you, right? And uh, I feel that this is a block. This is what holds them back for some of you guys in this connection. But nevertheless, here with the Nine of Cups, this person is thinking that you would uh, really fulfill their everything. Emotionally, physically, in every aspect. It's like uh, they're awestruck here. They have put you high on this pedestal. You are their wish, you see. And they cannot believe sometimes that their wish is true, that their wish can come true. So I feel this person, guys, has a lot of uh, limitations, self-limitations, self-limiting beliefs. They have some negativity here with the devil and the death card. And they have these uh, negative thoughts, insecurities about what you want, about what you deserve, about, uh, you know, that they cannot give you what you want here. And uh, this person, that's why they're holding back a lot. Maybe they portray you this image that they're not even interested in the King of Swords or that, uh, that they don't even notice you, right? Okay, so I'll draw some oracle cards now, guys. Let's find a little bit more. Okay, pal, two we have here, the wood rabbit, it says follow your curiosity. So this person, guys, is really curious about you. They are thinking how sweet you are, how magical you are, <clears throat> how special you are. They have a lot of romantic feelings for you, like uh, their feelings are blooming here, growing. But the thing is that uh, this rabbit here is a bit helpless. They feel vulnerable, they feel weak right now. And they don't know if they should follow their curiosity in this connection. Either, uh, you know, if it's your ex or not, or a new person. Yes, they are really thinking what to do here. And because they feel vulnerable, they don't want to let go. They have control issues, you see. Metal monkey let go of control. They're trying to really control themselves and to appear this uh, masculine macho man over here with the King of Swords that they are not interested, they don't want to show you anything here because they want to be in control. We also have living from the heart with a fire snake. So although this person, yes, they have feelings for you, their dream would be to live from their heart. This person cannot do that right now. They are not free. I feel this person, guys, um, has control issues and also that they are holding to the past a lot because here we have gratitude leads to abundance and this person right now is not operating from an abundant mindset but from scarcity mindset. They have a lot of insecurities and uh, they need to work on themselves, I feel. So we have here Phoenix rising from the ashes with this beautiful earth bear, you see, this colorful. So this tells me, it's very similar to the death card, there is a need for transformation. This person either needs to heal from a past relationship or uh, they might need to heal abandonment issues or this person might need to let go of control. They need to let go of their limitations, their limiting beliefs because uh, they are ruining everything here. So this person doesn't believe in themselves, they are second guessing themselves a lot. Okay guys, so I'll draw now the initials, let's see. So we have letter V, C, B, I, X. We have letter Z, N, W, G, F, O, N. V, S, T, yes, this is a Z. So you might have these letters in your name, or they have, or this might be an initial. 
your names guys right okay guys so if you resonate with this reading today if you like this reading you can give me a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye hi pal 3 welcome guys if you chose the camera sticker this reading is for you if you guys want a personal reading from me i do offer a same day reading for 20 dollars and i also have a patreon account with 18 plus readings for you you can check them out if you like in the description box and also in the comment section let's start guys let's find out what are your person's thoughts about you right now the moment that you click this video so you chose here the camera and I'm getting the sense that this person is watching you closely here with this camera either guys are spying on your line or it could be that you have a lot of memories together maybe they are looking at your photos here maybe they are just reminiscent about you but I feel this person is extremely focused on you with this lens over here and if you don't know this person that well it's like uh, every time they see you, their eyes are uh, wide open here, you see. So I feel this person is extremely curious about you. In any case, past or present person. They are curious about you, what you're doing or who you are. So let's see your card. You have here the compass. So I get for most of you guys this is a masculine here. Because we have the sun in the middle. And with the compass... It's talking about uh, making a decision, about thinking of the direction and which to go, right? So I feel this person is trying to, to decide which way to go, to come forward or not, and what to do. And also here, because we have directions, maybe they are asking uh, for advice from their friends or their family about you. I get for some of you it could be guys. So let's see now, I'll shuffle the cards and we'll find out more information. What is this person thinking about you right now? Okay, pile three. So we have interesting cards for you as well. So I feel like here, guys, uh, there is a minority of people that this could be your ex, but the majority is about a crush, a new person that doesn't know you that well. Because this person, guys, uh, had the realization about you. And I feel a lot of their thoughts is about uh, the last time that they saw you somewhere. So some of you guys could be out um, outdoors, I see this horse over here. I don't know, some of you might uh, have been on a horse riding or doing some external activity, outdoors activity, I mean, in nature, just for some. Uh, for others, I feel like this person was really trying to control themselves, right? Like controlling this um, horse over here. Hold your horses, literally, <laughs> or metaphorically, I don't know. In this case, so uh, very interestingly, Let's find out, guys, all the juice here, all the juicy details. So first of all, let's start with the interesting stuff. This person is thinking how attractive you are. We have here the Empress. <clears throat> and the Empress, guys, as you know, is someone that embodies all the queens. The Empress has everything. The Empress is beautiful. The Empress is a queen. The Empress is high value, the Empress is sexy, sensual, nurturing, patient. The Empress is uh, ruled by Venus. So she's, uh, you know, embodying uh, a lot of beauty. I don't know why I hear a lot of patience, patience again, for someone to resonate. Maybe if this person is your ex, they're thinking how patient you are with them and how nurturing you were while you were together. I also get here a message, some of these people, uh, they are thinking guys that you had the glow up, that you're getting better and better with these butterflies around. And the last time they saw you, they're thinking uh, how beautiful you were, how well dressed, how well put together for a lot of you. They observed your eye makeup, I feel, maybe you wear an eyeliner here or some nice eyeshadow, but they noticed your makeup. 
And they saw your uh, profile, I get, they are looking at you from your profile, from the side. And they noticed also how you are sitting, how you are moving, how you are carrying yourself. And they were really drawn to that. And this is clarifying the, the Eight of Cups over here, which is this giraffe walking away. So I feel this person um, was observing you the last time. How you were walking away, maybe some of you guys were wearing a skirt and um, <laughs> they are thinking about it a lot because they got really excited that uh, they could see your legs. So they were observing you from behind and they have these thoughts right now, uh, you know, how attractive you were and uh, how aroused they were by watching you walking away, you see. So I see for some others of you it could be on a beach, uh, you know, we have here the beach in the background and the sun rising, maybe it was in the morning. For some of you guys, maybe it was in the gym in the morning. And also I noticed uh, this, um, like a braid that this giraffe has. Maybe this person was also noticing your hair, how you did your hair and also something about your shoes or your boots, if you are in boots. So they are thinking about your style and about uh, how sexy you looked the last time. So the reading here guys is what they are thinking right now. But I get a lot of messages about uh, your last interaction. I also got uh, this type of messages in the first pile. Maybe you want to check it out. It was a really amazing pile. I really loved it. So here we also have 8 of Wands. This person is thinking how excited they are ab about you and also how passionate they are about you because we have all of these ones it's like uh, if they could they would rush in immediately they would grab you they would not let you go I hear for some so this person is extremely excited you see how they are uh, you know, laughing over here um, maybe for some of you they think that you are funny that you make them laugh or you were make them laugh or smile in the past you know and this person is thinking again that they should hold their horse over here because the Knight of Pentacles is someone that is working very slowly and methodically so they think that uh, they should hold their excitement, they should hold back a little bit and observe you a little bit if they don't know that well because they feel like their passion, uh, you know, could take them in places that they don't want to be <laughs> that's the message I hear right now so here guys we also have the sun and we have clarified with the six of wands. So the sun again, here in this case, there is this lady. I ignore the lizard uh, head. <laughs> there is this lady, right? And uh, they are thinking about your body, guys, a lot. And um, they are thinking about their attraction for you, their admiration for you. How happy you make them feel here. How optimistic they are for the future. Hopeful. But uh, it's a lot about your their attraction towards you because with the Six of Wands this person feels, guys, that you are very popular. Um, I'm again drawn to this uh, dressing style over here. And also the hat. Maybe you guys wear hats. Maybe the last time you were wearing a hat. But this person feels like uh, you're something um, extraordinary here. So this person feels, guys, that you're in the spotlight. Maybe a lot of people uh, give you attention or drawn to you. This person is thinking also that you're very successful and maybe, guys, you wouldn't go for them. So yes, they're hopeful, but they have some second thoughts here about you. Because uh, here we also have Four of Cups. So with the world, this person is thinking the world about you. They are thinking uh, that you are very, very special here and uh, you are the main focus in their life. And they are really thinking because you see this fox meditating here and thinking. <laughs> and so is the rabbit because uh, Four of Cups is a card of thinking a lot, contemplating, thinking about your options. And the Four of Cups sometimes guys speaks about insecurity, so this person has some slight insecurities here. They are thinking if they give you something, if they offer you something, maybe you won't take it because uh, with the world uh, you're something really special and a lot of people admire you as well. 
So yeah, this person guys is thinking a lot about that. You also have the Three of Wands and as I told in the beginning with this card of the Compass, this is about uh, making a decision how to make a move, how to move forward, what to do. It's a card of how to make progress, both of them. So this person is really, really thinking and planning what to do with you. And I sense here with the Knight of Pentacles, this person is thinking that it would be best to play the long game with you. Meaning that uh, they will not come forward immediately. But they prefer to observe you because they want to be on the safer side. Uh, you know, before um, showing you all of their interest. And here we have five of wands. So this person is conflicting side a lot. They are conflicted. Because uh, guys, th they think that uh, you might have someone else here. That's the thought. So in any case, if this is your ex or not, or a crush, new person, uh, they are conflicting inside if they should come forward. Because here also we have also Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is someone that wants to contact, send a message, that want to explore something. So they see this opportunity with you and they want to take it and they had this realization uh, recently or maybe right now as you're uh, watching this video they have this realization here with the Ace of Swords that uh, they should walk this path towards you, you see they should go the long uh, run with you and they want to be successful with you they want to win with you and the World card is also a card of success so definitely this person is thinking that uh, they don't want to lose this chance because the Four of Cups is also a card of uh, missing out. This is fear of missing out, you see. So they are afraid that uh, they are going to miss out on this opportunity. They have these slight fears and that's why uh, they are strategizing now the Three of Wands over here and the uh, Knight of Pentacles and what to do with you. So here we have the Lovers, guys. And this person is definitely attracted to you a lot. They feel very connected to you. For some reason very tempted by you with this apple and the snake. And they are thinking, imagine how it would be to be with you. Intimately but also in relationship, you see. Alright, I will get some more of the cards now guys to find out a little bit more. So here guys, you got this rabbit, the wood rabbit, it says follow your curiosity. So I told in the beginning that this person is very very curious about you, this camera, right? They are watching you closely, very closely. They are very curious uh, to find out more about you, they are very curious about this connection. So they have these uh, fantasies right now, curiosity on what you are doing in your life, who you are. Or if this is your ex, they have curiosity if you have someone else here. Here we have the wood sheep, nature is your healer, and with a heart over here. Tells me that this person guy starts to develop feelings for you, uh, with all of these flowers around. It's like uh, they feel like they're in paradise when they're thinking about you, or when they see you in person. And they also get a message that it's like you disarm this person. And uh, normally they would get defensive with other people, but with you it's like you calm them down. Your energy is healing to them. And if it's your ex guys, maybe there is a need for them to heal first, before they come towards you. Because um, I see here they have some blockages. Fire ship, clear your blockage. So maybe if it's a past person they need to release their limiting beliefs, to release uh, their pain. To release their toxic, uh, you know, traits or negativity before they can come towards you. And if this is a new person will clear your blockage, it means that this person has some uh, minor fears here and uh, some insecurities. They need to release these first before they come forward. Here we have Earth Snake. Gratitude leads to abundance. So this person, guys, feels very abundant in your presence. They are very tempted by you here. Again, uh, with this world you see in the background, 
They think the world of you, they feel very connected to you, very attracted to you, they feel a lot of chemistry to you. And I get now that uh, they really want to taste you, they want to have a bite of you. <laughs> yes, because they think that you're very delicious. And here we have wood snake, enjoy the waiting game. And I told you guys this person wants to play the long game, right? Here with the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is thinking that uh, they should wait a little bit. And uh, they don't mind. They want to be patient with you. Because uh, you're worth it, of course, with the sun and the world. I told you they think uh, that you're the best. The best option for them right now. They're very focused on you. And uh, they enjoy this uh, game that you have, these uh, new feelings that you have. And if this is your ex, they are also thinking that they should be patient and uh, hold back a little bit before they do something. So now I will pull some uh, initials for you guys. Let's see. So here we have K, D, H, O, J, Y, E, U, S, C, X, Q, U, L, Q, D, I, X, R, G. So maybe you guys or this person has these letters in their name or this is their initial of their name, first name or last name, it could be. And we have two X's here, so maybe for some of you this is your X. We have two U. Okay guys, so take whatever resonates. I hope you like this reading, if it resonates with you. If you like it, so you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.